Welcome back, Slam Kids. Today, we're going to have another episode of Slam Kids TV. I'm so excited about today. We're going to start off with a song called Happy Day. Get up and let's dance together. That was tons of fun. Stay tuned for some more Slam Kids TV. Hey, Slam Kids, it's time for our God Time Devotion. Grab your take-home paper. It looks just like this. It says June week two, and today we're on day four, and we are um, in our base camp series, and we've been learning ton, tons about the basics that we need for climbing and in mountains and also the basics that we need for our lives and to grow um, in wisdom, faith, and friendship just like Jesus did. All right, so day four says to read in Isaiah again. We, re we read in Isaiah yesterday. So we're going to grab our Bibles. Hit pause if you need a minute to find your Bible. Also, if you don't have your take-home paper, remember to go to riverhills.tv and download it and print it out so you can follow along with me. So you might remember right where Isaiah is from yesterday, but if not, just go to the table of contents, look down about halfway through the Old Testament, and you'll see Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs, Isaiah. If you got to Jeremiah, you went a little too far, okay? So Isaiah, it's next to it, it has an, a number, and that's the page number that Isaiah starts on. So let's turn in our, Isaiah, um, in our Bibles to find that page number, and you'll see, you should see Isaiah. Also, at the top of each page, it will, sh it will tell you the book. 
So you can see that we're in Isaiah by looking at the top of the page. Then look down inside of um, the book to find chapter number 40, which is our big number 40. All right, so you turn a few pages till you find big number 40. And once you find chapter number 40, you're gonna look inside of chapter number 40 to find little number 28, which is our verse 28, all right? So we're gonna read verses 28, 29, 30, and 31, okay? So make sure you're following along with me. It makes it tons more fun to follow along, and also you're learning to find your scriptures better, all right? So this is Isaiah 40, starting with verse 28. Don't you know who made everything? Haven't you heard about him? The Lord is the God who lives forever. He created everything on earth. He won't become worn out or get tired. No one will ever know how great his understanding is. He gives strength to those who are tired. He gives power to those who are weak. Even young people become worn out and get tired. Even the best of them trip, up, trip and fall. But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weak. So when we have God in our lives, you know, we won't get tired of, of doing the things that he wants us to do because he, his um, strength is going to be with us. So now and, uh, you're going to see on day four that there is a like a crossword puzzle. And it says, read carefully through the passage and circle all the descriptions of God like he lives forever. He created everything, etc. So let's go back in our Bibles, and I already closed it. So if you closed it, we'll have to find Isaiah again, but hopefully you remember somewhat where it's at. So let's look at that scripture again, 40, starting with 28. And let's look at all the different things that it says and it's just how it describes God. Okay, so it says, don't you know who made everything? So that's one thing. He made everything. God made everything. Okay? Haven't you heard about him? The Lord is the God who lives forever. So he lives forever. He never dies. He, he was never born. He was never created. He was just always there. He's always been there. All right? He created everything on earth. So he created everything in the whole world. He won't become worn out or get tired. So God doesn't get tired. He doesn't need to sleep. He doesn't need to rest like we do. Because God has more strength and more power than we could ever imagine. No one will ever know how great his understanding is. So he's very understanding, okay? That's another thing it tells us. He gives strength to those who are tired. So he's giving us strength. He gives power to those who are weak. Even young people become worn out and get tired. Even the best of them trip and fall. But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. Strength, all right? So um, it's, telling that it's telling, saying that God has strength. He has power. He's huge. He's awesome. He lives forever. He created everything. There's so many characteristics of God in that passage. Then it says, use these, these descriptions as clues to find five words describing who God is hidden in the puzzle below. Okay, so if you know how a crossword puzzle works, you're gonna write in, it says some of them are across and some of them are down. It tells you the number. Now the answers are on the, on, on the bottom, but don't look there yet. What I want you to do is I want you to hit pause and then I want you to try to figure it out as much as you can on your own. And then once you've finished, um, writing down the answers that you can gather and you can figure out yourself then hit play and I will help you figure out the rest of the answers all right so hit pause now and work your hardest and see what you can come up with all right so now we're going to work together and see if, how many answers you got correct and how many you need to just fix or add in okay so the first one um, well if we if we look at the first one um, listed is the, is number two and it's a cross and it says great and understanding. So if you look up there in the box that says number two, and then you kind of look at it like this or um, this way for you, um, from left to right, there are four boxes. So he's great and he's understanding. So when somebody's understanding and when they, um, when they know a lot, they're what? And it's one of the words that we've been learning that we need to grow in. We said we need to grow in wisdom. So God is wise, he's already wise. So that's W-I-S-E, so you put that there. Then the next one um, is four across, which says created everything. So God created everything, so he is our creator. So write the word creator in the um, box that says number four um, with one letter per box. So C-R-E-A-T-O-R, -E creator. He's our creator, okay? The number five across, it says he lives forever. So if somebody lives forever, 
it, um, the, another word for that is eternal. So he's never going to die. He's eternal. He's going to be there for eternity. Okay? So write the word eternal, starting with box five and going from left to right. E-T-E-R-N-A-L. Just hit pause if you need another minute to write in these. It's fine. The next one is down. Number one down. It says gives power to the weak. So if he's giving power, he must have power. So he must be powerful, right? Okay, so number one, the box number one at the very top. Um, let's start there and go down and write the word powerful. P-O-W-E-R-F-U-L. Okay? The last one is three down, and it says give strength to the, str to the tired. So the same thing, if he can give strength, he must have strength, so he must be strong. Let's start with box three, and let's go down and write in the word strong. S-T-R-O-N-G. All right, and you can see that all the letters fit together so that um, it makes one crossword puzzle. All right, the bottom of our take-home paper says no. Know that things God has done show us who he is. So the things that God do, the things that God does, um, actually shows us who he is. So um, when he get, when he is loving to us, then obviously he's loving. Um, when he makes a beautiful creation all around us, we can know that he's beautiful too and that he cares for us, okay? So know that and pay attention to those kinds of things and remember that when you see something, a characteristic of God or something that he's done for you, it can tell you a little bit about who he is. All right, stay tuned for some worship. All right, Slam Kids, this one is called Better Than Life. It's super fun, so get up wherever you are and let's sing it together. Better Than Life. Come on, get into it with us. of this world better than the sound of my friends voices better than the biggest dreams in my heart and that's just the start better than getting what i say i need better than living the life that i want to better than the love anyone could give your love is you hold me now in your arms and never let me go Shine calm when the moonlight shine in the nighttime sky. You give me breath and know your love. I give my heart to you. I can't stop falling. Stop falling in love with him. He's so awesome. Better than the riches of this world. Better than the sound of my friends' voices. Better than the biggest dreams in my heart. And that's just the start. Better than getting what I say I need. Better than living the life that I want to. Better than the love anyone could give. Your love is. You hold me now in your arms. Sunshine come when the moonlight shine in the nighttime sky. You give me breath and all your love. I give my heart to you.
awesome job, you guys. Isn't that great? We will keep falling in love with him over and over when we th think about how wonderful he is. Stay tuned, guys. More's coming up. Hey guys, this song is called Jesus Loves Me. A lot of us have heard the old song, Jesus Loves Me, but this is a new song and it says the same thing. So get up and let's worship him because he does love us. This is called Jesus Loves Me. Think about his love for you today. Never be alone. I have found the peace that stills my soul. Oh, I believe. Oh, I believe. The King of Heaven died for me. He died for me and He died for you. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Loves us so much, guys. And this I know. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. We can know that for sure that He loves us. love us so much. You love us enough that you came and you died for us so that our sins, those wrong things that we've done, can be wiped away and washed completely clean. Lord, we thank you for your love. We thank you that we can know that you love us without a doubt. You love us and you are in heaven looking down on us. Lord, we ask you that you will help us love you back with all of our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.